Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over a new type of variable. It's not really a variable. Um, it's called a table, or a list, or an array. Now, array is a common term in most languages, and table, list, and array are actually technically all different things, but their differences are very small, and sometimes it won't even matter. But we're going to work with tables because tables are what are most commonly used in Roblox Lua. I might call them an array uh, by accident or a list by accident, but just know in, in this set of tutorials, I'm talking about a table. So we're going to actually get rid of all of this. And you declare a table a lot like you declare any other type of variable local and then name your table and I'll name it table local table equals but here's where everything changes you put a curly bracket and another curly bracket to close it and all of your variables inside here now you guys might be thinking all of my variables I thought I only get one I haven't explained what a table an array or a list is yet a table, I guess we can put it into the real perspective I'm supposed to put it into with the name table. When you're sitting at the dinner table, there, especially at Thanksgiving, there's probably going to be a lot of different food on the table. You'll have green beans and then chicken and milk or something all in front of you. And they're all food. They're all on the table. Actually... You might even have your plates. They aren't all the exact same thing, but they're all on the table, and they're all different entities with their different properties, if you think about it that way. So I guess what I'm trying to say is a table can hold any type of variable, but it can hold a lot, it can hold basically an endless amount of variables and they can all be different. They can all be different types of objects. You can hold numbers, letters, words, objects, a ton of stuff in them, okay? So when I say variables, I mean you can hold a lot of different variables in one variable and it can be very useful um, when you're taking user input or something and you don't know how big it's going to have to be. So, we'll go in our table, and let's just make a quick, I'm a table, and the number 13, because that's my number. So, that will hold two variables. Now, I'm going to show you what happens when we print a table. you get the table and where it's saved like it's identification number in your RAM that's not at all what you were expecting though was it no what you were probably expecting was for it to print this up here well I didn't mean to press control Z well it won't and some of you, I'm going to answer two questions right now. How do you print the stuff in the table? And how do you get to the different variables in there? I mean, I don't. I, sometimes I might only want one at a time. In fact, most of the time you only want to get to one at a time. Well, the second question's answer is you index it. Index. Okay, most languages. I'm just going to show you. All right, I'm going to make another table. Local index table. Local index table. And I'm going to number them according to the index that the table will give them. Now, most computer languages will start arrays or lists or tables at the index of zero. Roblox isn't really like that, I don't think. 
Uh, they might. T I don't honestly know um, perfectly, but I know that when you're indexing, it will not. It one will be the first one, which makes a lot more sense to how we count. But to a computer, it starts at zero, so it probably took some effort for it to be able to start at one. However, we'll just get started, and in this, in I'm going to show you how to index. What the heck did I just press? Okay. Index table. You use a square bracket and then the number you want to index. We'll go with one for right now. Print index table one. And this might be a bad demonstration for some of you, but I'll fix it. Um, to make it a little better. Play. And as you see, it will print one. Now if we go back up to our script and I change this from index table to just table one. I want you guys to take a wild guess. Hopefully you guys can figure it out as to what this will print. Reset. Last chance to guess. Play. Well, would you look at that? It printed, I'm a table. So I'm going to explain just real quick as to how that worked, and then I'll be done. Um, so, like I said, it's holding a lot of variables, but unlike normal, we aren't having to n declare and name each of these variables. We're just throwing them in a t uh, throwing them onto the table, and they're indexed from there. So they're given a number inside the table, so that you can access them individually. And that's what makes tables useful, is sometimes it can be better to remember names or hold a lot of data and not want to have to come up with a different name for everything. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond now you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.